Okay, let's take a look at the sketch updates for 2018 now. So we'll go ahead and open this part and take a look at what's new for sketching. So here you'll see I've got a 3D sketch on screen and I want to make some edits to this and just focus in on a couple of the updates. So we've probably all uh, been faced with a situation like this where we've applied a tangency to an arc uh, and we've come back into the sketch and that's flipped over. Uh, so it's reversed the tangency, a sort of unwanted uh, effect that we can see sometimes. Now there's a few manual ways to replace that. So we could redraw an arc over here and use the replace entity tool on the sketch toolbar. But new for 2018 is the ability to right click on a situation like this and use the new reverse endpoint end tangency option, which will just flip it over and give us a much more desirable result. So any geometry that's hanging off that, uh, any features that we've created will sort themselves out quite nicely. Now at 2D sketch level, we've long had the ability to mirror sketch entities, but that has never been extended to 3D sketches. So if we wanted to build symmetry into our designs from an early stage, we wouldn't have been able to do that if we were using 3D sketches. But now if we use the mirror entities tool, we can access this at 3D sketch level. In addition to this extension of the functionality, we can now also mirror about more things. So historically, we would only be able to use a center line, but now we can select a plane to mirror about or alternatively a plane of face. So here I'll just window round my entities and then select the plane and you can see that I can complete my 3D sketch like so. So a real time saver and a good productivity gain to allow us to include uh, extra symmetry from sketch level in 3D sketches. Now there's a couple of updates in previous releases that I just want to focus on for a moment and the first one of those is something called Instant 2D. So prior to me turning that on, if I want to modify this 500mm dimension, I'd need to double click on that and make a change to it or use the incremental wheel towards the bottom. That's our typical workflow. Using Instant 2D, if I turn that on, I can do a single click and I can change the dimension straight away. Or alternatively, if I pick the dimension again, I can use very uh, similar tools to Instant 3D and just drag and resize that like so, allowing me to quickly change the dimensions of my sketch. If we just exit that and rebuild, we can see the impact of that change over in our top level assembly. Now the final thing that I want to draw your attention to is something that appeared in 2017 called Shaded Sketch Contours. So if I draw out a slot like so, you can see it's a little bit awkward for me to move an underdefined sketch around screen whilst maintaining its shape. So we can move it around but it resizes the object as we go and it's not the sort of ideal behaviour, something that we've struggled with for some time. So what we could do is apply a couple of dimensions to define the size of that slot and then move it around. But in 2017, we saw the introduction of something called shaded sketch contours. So that will allow me to pick inside the contour like so and move it around screen much easier than we have been able to before. So if we just position this down like so, I'll just resize it a little bit. You can see it's a lot easier for me to position that into my assembly. So I'm just gonna offset that by a couple of millimeters. And what you'll also notice is that the shading becomes very gradual. So the more contours we add, the more different types of shading that we get. In addition to shaded sketch contours, uh, selecting contours is a lot easier now as well. If we hold down the Alt key, it invokes the Select Contours tool, and we can go through and we can pick any of the contours that we want to use. So we'll just zoom in a little bit here to grab these two smaller ones, and holding down Control and Alt will allow me to pick both of those, and then I can use my handy little fly out here to run a cut all the way through this, just to create a couple of uh, sections on this sheet metal part. So let's summarize what we've seen. We've seen we can now use reference planes as mirror planes. We can mirror 3D sketch geometry directly. We can also reverse the arc tangency. Uh, that applies to spline tangencies as well. Uh, and in addition to that, we've also got the ability to auto rotate the view normal to sketch on edit. In our next video, we'll be taking a look at assemblies.